I've completed a Bachelor in Biomedical Science and a postgrad in Biotechnology. I'm currently working as a laboratory assistant um, in molecular genetics. Uh, throughout my studies, I was pregnant and um, I gave birth while you know, I was completing my Bachelor and my daughter attended my graduation then and she again attended my graduation for my postgrad. Like being a woman in the niqab, the veil, it's not always easy. It, I do face a lot of challenges it faced a lot of challenges throughout my education. Um, you know, even just the process of getting to uni was also a challenge. And you know, having a lot of setbacks in the way, I felt like at one point I was an onion and I was like peeling, you know, one skin after the other. And I still got there. And I got there because I knew that there were people within the community that believed in me. I connected with local just for local people and through my engagement with them I have managed to land a few um, interviews with um, local um, organisations and businesses. I managed to secure a few interviews with CSL and um, another position as a venue officer but I still wasn't getting the job. Eventually I um, connected with the STEM sisters I've done the ambassador program and through this program I found out about Passport to Work and I gained a lot from this program so you know from mock interviews to mindset mindset was very important and you know how to like answer questions and then connect it back to the question um, and how to answer tricky questions within interview and what to ask at the end of the interview so I learned so many um, techniques that I didn't previously have and I think I believe this is how I actually got my role. You know, surround yourself with people that are like-minded, people that can encourage you and motivate you to keep going. And ultimately, you know, your child, although my daughter, I find, I used to think that my daughter's struggling because, you know, she's watching me study and work and, you know, put, exert so much effort into ticking off my goals. But ultimately, I'm actually teaching her how to set goals and how to achieve goals and how to have boundaries and how to get to from A to Z. Don't give up, keep going, you know, tick your boxes, um, take breaks. If you need a break, take a break and reach out to your local council. They've got so much to offer. There's so many amazing staff there that are willing, you know, to hear your story and to put you in the program that's most needed for you.